The Malaysian businessman Leonard Glenn Francis pleaded guilty to defrauding the Navy in 2015. He was at the heart of a corruption probe that snared nearly 30 naval officials. Francis was awaiting sentencing when the U.S. Marshals were notified Sunday that he had cut his ankle monitor. Omar Castillo is the deputy supervisor for the U.S. Marshals Southern District of California. We went to the house that afternoon, um, knocked on the door, no answer, uh, looking through the windows, it looked pretty vacant, uh, found an unlocked door, and my task force officers went in. Leonard has few ties to the United States. His business was based in Singapore. He lives with three of his children who are Filipino. Neighbors told investigators they saw U-Haul trucks parked outside his house before he left. Finding out about the U-Haul trucks and, and knowing that the house is empty, um, um, he, he's had some time to plan this out. So we are, are definitely leaning towards him possibly being interna on the international side. Um, and we're basically pursuing some of those leads. Dan Grazer with the Center for Public Integrity says this twist may make it even less likely that the Navy will learn the lesson from the largest corruption scandal in Navy history. I fear that Navy officials are going to view this, this last dramatic turn in the case as an opportunity to close the book on it. And so there's already a... A, a lack of discussion about this case in official Washington as it is. The remaining defendants in the case are scheduled to be sentenced in the coming weeks. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.